got nothing to report. We have. Help him with his coat, Ed. Be careful. Betting slips in there. Forget the bookie operation. After three weeks, forget it? Yeah. Now your jacket. You have a warrant? We're not searching. Shirt and tie. I just put it on 20 minutes ago. What are we looking for? Not sure yet. It depends. Deltoid's good. Well shaped for a guy who's over the hill. I've always been proud of my deltoid. What is it? His shoulder and upper arm muscles. I've seen better biceps, though. But they're good, got some zing. Should I continue, Al? Oh! Hey, now wait a minute. If I'm too old for the job, just tell me, don't show me. Pretty good reflexes, Al. For 200 a week, I have to be a punching bag? <laughs> you did some boxing in Tennessee. How much? Found out you had to stay on your feet. <laughs> did you? Not often enough to make a career out of it. You ever hear of Tony Compato? Sounds like a lot of people. He isn't. We've been trying to nail him a long time, can't even come close. He owns a lot of fighters, books them into small clubs in Brooklyn, the Bronx, Queens. Doesn't sound big. Plenty of hungry boys in town. He pays them $50, $60 to go three, four, six rounds. It's a rough way to make a buck. Not for Compad on his tank operation. He picks his spots beautifully. Once the fix is on, he places his bets or makes book against the boy it takes to dive. What's his take? A quarter of a million dollars a year, according to the Internal Revenue. Here, take a look at yourself. What's my name? Billy Ryan, in from the coast. Middleweight, never gone higher than eight rounds. Born, 1928. Just a club fighter. But what about Billy Ryan? When you're ready to make your move, he'll be swallowed up. I better get busy. I need a trainer. Shannon, Compado's tough. And there's a man with him they call John T. He's tough, too. What about the guys in the ring? Later that day, Special Investigator Shannon started to work with Andy Farrell, a former fighter, now an athletic instructor for a youth club. He was in training two weeks. He learned enough to be able to pose as a club fighter. Step number two. Shannon went to the Regal Gym, owned but not operated by Tony Campato. Hi, yeah, boys. Mr. Campato. How are you? You first, Marin. Two four Saturday at the east side. No sixes? Jake Lewin already booked it. You should let me know about these things, Myron. Jake said you shouldn't mind. They're your own boys. Who? Baby Bella Gamba and Daniel Boone. Hmm. What are you going to need for your four rounders? Walters, a little shy on the savvy. The Flores boy and Freddie Gambina. Thanks, Tony. Have a couple of threes? Sure. Yeah, talk to Alex. He'll take care of you. Okay. 
What's wrong, Frankie? Alex tells me my boy fights young Sam Friday. Young Sam's a bum. That's just it, Mr. Campato. He lands a lucky roundhouse and my boy's through after all my slow handling. Get Alex. That sparring partner's making a fool of young Sam. I know, I know. But I don't want to see him lose this early. I think he's got something. How old is he? 18. He tapers beautiful like a tiger. But what are you worrying about? Your boy wins it Friday. I'll see you at the fight, Frankie. Yeah, sure, sure. Yeah, Tony? Who's the oldster in the ring? Oh, Sam Stammer bum from the coast. I put him in for $3 a round. Don't waste any more money on young Sam. Why? He goes in the tank Friday. I learned a lot from you in there today. Just hard knocks, kid. I've been club fighting a long time. Rode a lot of us. I'm on an eight-win streak now. Won't be long, I'll make the 10 round. Then I really move. Oh, hiya, Mr. Campano. I want to talk to my boy. What's up, Mr. Campano? You watched me in there today? Yeah, I watched you, Sam. You looked awful. Well, you know how it is. I was trying new things. You know, me and my wife, we saw a picture last night. Character in the picture called Baby Gumdrops. Moved his fist like a machine gun. Your wife, she's a nice girl. The best. Don't you ever worry about what she thinks? What do you mean? Well, you don't make enough money to live on. It's rough on a young wife. Don't you worry about that, Mr. Campano. Merrily believes in me. Well, Sam, I'm gonna help you out anyway. This Friday, I'm gonna place a little bet for you. You know, give you a nice steak. You don't have to do that, Mr. Campato. Look, I appreciate yeah, it all. I'm gonna place a little bet for you on Danny McCoy, that he wins in three. But I'm fighting Danny McCoy. That's right, Sam. But, but Mr. Campato, I won eight fights for you. I'm no tanker. The other eight were. Oh, no. Sam, take my advice. You're not going anywhere in the fight game. You got a glass jaw. You got a nice young wife. Take care of her. from the coast. Yeah, Billy Ryan. What have you done? Fours and sixes, went eight once. Want to stay on as a sparring partner? End up on Dream Street at three dollars a round? It's better than nothing, Mr. Campato. I'm flat. There's a three open in the Bronx tomorrow night. Fifty dollars. Thanks. Come on, John T. It's lunchtime. Rode me around and, and I saw Marilee sitting there. And I know she was just praying for me to come back. And then I remembered the glass jaw. And then I remembered what you told me, Mr. Campato. And I moved in. And all of a sudden, all I was thinking was that my combination was working right. Just like the character in the movies. And then, then I was thinking of you sitting down there, Mr. Campato. And I was showing you that, that my jaw my jaw really had more than glass in it. And then, then he just folded up like an accordion. And so did my $10,000.
Yes, Shannon. We made a mistake, Al. What do you mean? I've won two fights. It's the other guy who's pulling the El Foldo. If Compado doesn't ask me, we'll never get him. I guess we better have a meeting. Do you remember that boy you were telling me about, young Sam? Yeah, what about him? They pulled him out of the East River this morning. Young Sam was shot three times in the chest, close range, and dumped in the river. He has a wife. We told her. She's with her family. John T. Shannon, I need some answers. Shoot. When do you think Compadre will ask you to take a dive? Now. What do you mean? I'm going to make sure he does. Use your recorder. We'll need the fixed conversation on it. Can't guarantee that. The pitch will come in the gym. So? So how do I hide a recorder in a pair of boxing trunks? Anyway, what good would that do? We'd have a case then. Sure, for attempted bribe. Compado would get a year at the most. I want to put him out of business. For good. So do we, Shannon. But sometimes you have to settle. Remember? They got Capone for taxes. That was Capone. This is Capado. He killed a boy with a dream. I like the boy. I'm open for ideas. How about this one? I make a deal to go in the tank for Capado. Then I go in and win the fight. Do you know what you're saying, Shannon? I'm saying that Capato and John T. will come after me. When they do, I might get Capato to admit to young Sam's murder. You've got a lot of faith in us. Yeah. No telling where they'll hit me. Have Carney cover me the best he can. Right. One question. Go ahead. How do you know you can win the fight? I don't, but I've got a good reason to try. <laughs> Give me down the sixth. Lady bird across the board. Fifth. Right. You never build a bank account that way. At my age, who needs a bank account? I like the action. Mr. Compado in? No. What's it to you? I want to talk to him, Alex. He'll be around. When? When he has to be around. I want to talk to him today. Yeah? What about? Business. That's as far as I go. The rest is for him. Well, I'll see what I can do. Thanks. Let me talk to Mr. Campano. What's on your mind, Billy? Money? Everybody's got that on their mind. With me, it's not a lot. I'm around the bend, Mr. Campano. I don't want my brains to end up scrambled. Well, what do you want me to do? I'm scheduled for six in the 12th Street Arena next week. Yeah, you got an even chance to win, too. I own a little piece of property back home. And where's that? Tennessee. My father left it to me. With some improvement, it could be a meal ticket. You've been around here long enough to know I have to pick the spots. Sure. That's why I'm talking to you now. Gives you a week. You've been in the tank before? A couple of times, on the coast. All right, you're on. I want it over in the third. How much can I make? I'll place a bet for you. One thousand. Good enough. Did you know young Sam? Talk to him around the gym.
This is it, kid. Make it look good. He's going to be around much longer, Tony. was the third round. The man says it ain't too late. You hear me, Ryan? You can still go in the fourth. Take a cab. A cab, but why? Take a cab now. I've met some daughters in my lifetime, but you take the cake. You waltz, Ryan. You deserve to be creamed. You sound concerned, Alex. I don't even like to see a dog hit by a car, kid. Take my advice. Forget the shower and get out of here. And do yourself a favor. What's that? Find a fast boat to China and don't look back.
I'm not going to die like young Sam, Capato. No, not quite the same. It took three bullets to put him away. One ought to do for you. One more step and we'll shoot. It finally happened, huh, Campato? What finally happened? So some punk fighter says I tried to fix him. <laughs> when you hear it the most. Who's talking about a fix? Murder's more like it. You talk just loud enough. All right, take him away. You all right? Tired. You can try your own apartment tonight. We kept it clean for you. And uh, don't wear gym shoes anymore. Why not? It's hard to keep track of you. 